Hi, I'm Nadia Jackson-Lemingen, and this video is going to show you how you can create a Facebook cover, like this one, in Canva, so it looks good on your phone and looks good on your desktop. Okay, so first thing off, let's go into Canva. So Canva is a free product. It's just a really great online product that you can use. Uh, it's just canva.com. Uh, now when you log in, you just go create a design, use custom dimensions, and we're using the dimensions of 1200 by 675. So you need to make sure that the background image you're going to be using is quite big. The higher the pixelation, the better. Okay, so here's this one here. Now hopefully you've already downloaded, and if you haven't, please download the template. So what you do here is you can you click on the template here. And you just put the template to the sizing that we need. Now it is the, the sizing works completely. Now how it works is is that on mobile the image is actually um, is bigger. The, you know you can see more of it at the top and the bottom. So these pink bits here is what you can see on a mobile, and the white bit is only what you can see on the desktop. Now if you don't have um, things on. Uh, you know, an image available here, it comes out black and it doesn't look great. So it's always really good to make sure that the whole image is available so that you can, uh, so it looks good on a desktop and on um, a mobile. So now that we've got this, let's just, we're just going to move this um, slightly to the uh, left. Then we're going to find our image. So the image that we're going to use for this one is just here. You just put it in. Now, obviously, it's going to be too big for the white bit, and that's fine, but that's cool. So then we've got this here. You can see what it is. And now, as we can see that this bit here, the trans, um, the bit where we can really see the beach, is uh, you can't really see the beach on it. So let's just go over here, and we're just going to move the image up a little bit like that. Woohoo, cool. Right. So now I've got a bit of beach. I've got a bit of palm tree and I've got the water and obviously the sky as well. So that's really good. Now the reason I've moved this to the left is so that we can still see where we need to work in, but we can actually manipulate this image on the side as well. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in um, our wording. So uh, for this one, I'm going to add a heading. Now if we go along here, it's actually going to tell me very you go, where the center of the page is. So here I'm going to put I'm just going to put um, free ebook, and then I'm going to bring in here as a subheading, and I'm just going to copy my wording that I've got, uh, and I'm going to change the font because I like a different font that I use. So the font that I use is a Romeo, so I've got that here, and then I'm going to save time and money. I just want to bold that, and I want to make the whole thing a little bit bigger. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger there. Yeah. Now, I feel like there's a lot of space between these things, so I'm going to just remove the spacing a little bit there. Not too much, just a little bit. Now, the other thing is going to make sure is this that, yeah, make sure it's centered. There we go. Then, I mean, it's great that I have this image, but I don't feel like there's a call to action. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a little button. So um, how it works with these is this one's actually, it looks like that. So that's the, um, like the transparent background. And this is my button here. So let's just make it look like a button. You get it from here, you can go down and then you can move that in if you want to. So I'm just gonna make that centered as well. Um, I'm gonna color that the ready color. I'm gonna go back to my text and I'm gonna add a text here. So let's just center that too. And what I'm actually going to say is find out how. Find out how. With a couple of dots, that's what I want. Uh, I'm going to make it white. And yeah, that works. That works well. So now I can see that it's within the space. So I might even want to move this up a bit, move that there, because I've got a bit of spacing here, right? So I can definitely move things around. Because we've got so space, we might want to move the spacing down a little bit. Uh, and then once you've got it and you know where that you've got all the wording that you want within the, um, within the correct sizing, you can then delete the template. So that's what it's going to look like on a mobile. It looks quite good on either side. Um, and I think that'll look good on a Facebook business, uh, a Facebook page as well. So then all we do is download it. Um, I would suggest you download it as a PNG. Just go download. 
and then you have your image.